What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Brittany! 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 Come here! What kind of bleach do you use on these t-shirts? This thing is gleaming. Where the hell did you come from, Bobby? But like I was saying until I was rudely interrupted, this shirt is white as hell, ain't it? I can barely look at the monitor while I'm making this video. Anyways, got some pretty good clips coming your way today. All lockup related, of course. So if this is what you're into, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. Alright, first off, let's start with the bang. This girl gets pulled over while she's on a live stream. Officer obviously gets her paperwork and comes back and says she has warrants. But I don't know what this girl was thinking. I'll explain here in a moment. Me and Roland, I don't feel like going to jail. Hello, ma'am. Hey, your driver's license is suspended and you have warrants out of Fayetteville. I need you to step out of the car, okay? I ain't got no warrants. You need to step out of the car. I'm about to get low. Unfortunately, when you put on your seatbelt, roll up your window saying you're gonna get low, I'm pretty sure that's what she said. But if I were to guess what really made the officer act like that was because the way she put it into gear. She did it very hostily, it looked like she was about to take off rather quickly. And who knows, we didn't see what was in front of her, she could have been in a crowded parking lot. Officer just saving lives. And not to mention, she has warrants. When you have warrants, man, it don't matter, you're, it, you ain't winning. You're going to jail. There's no damn loopholes in this, you're getting arrested. Unless it's something really petty and they don't extradite from state to state because of petty charges. And that varies. That varies. Some states it doesn't matter. They'll come get you from anywhere. You know, one of the best things about being a YouTuber is I could just stop, go to the gym, get a good bicep pump, and get right back over here and finish the video. Love it. Absolutely love it. Next up, we have a clip that is not related to jail or prison in any way, shape, or form. But it did remind me of a situation that I went through in prison, sparring one of my friends that was much bigger than me. It was going good till he hit the nitrous. Oh, what you gonna say? <laughs> Calm that shit down, big dog. Oh, what you gonna say? <laughs> that shit made him rethink fighting altogether. Oh, if that was a real fight, dude would have been done. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen many people sleep on those big guys thinking they're sweet. Not me, I respect all people, even the little guys, they could swing. But like the story I did yesterday where the white dude died over a bag lunch, turns out he was going to fight someone twice his size. Better think twice about running up on those big dudes. Could get your life snatched with one punch. <laughs> oh, it looks like you showed up just in time, Bobby. Just in time for the bail enforcement crew. Reminded me of the time you went on the run. And you're still blaming that shit I found on the pool table the other day on Brittany, huh? Let's do it. Do it then. then turn around. What are you run scared out. of? Walk up, you stupid little bitch. Do it. What are you going to do? What you going to do, bitch? You, you still standing there? I'll tase you. Oh, I'm right, I mean, I'm right here if you wanted to. Oh, I'm right here. And then you got your cheerleader crew on the side, right, bitch? Well, aren't you strong enough to take everybody on? Because you're oh, big bad, yeah, right? Shut, shut the fuck up. You're big and bad. How big and bad are you? Do it. Up, you stupid little bitch. Punk? What are you gonna do? You're big and bad. You're still standing there. I'll take it. I don't think Bobby's gonna be coming around for a couple days. I went overboard. I'm gonna have to apologize to him later, take him out to Sweet Frogs or something. Meanwhile, at the local courthouse in Susanburg. <laughs> That money was as clean as that landscape. Next up looks like we have a little bit of a situation at a gas station. But why in the world would this guy possibly be getting surrounded by police? Oh, I think I know why. You all right, bro? Yeah, bro. Okay. All right. Everything all right with this, brother? It's a lot of manpower for this. You good? You see, now, I don't like to get into people's business, but if I were to see this, I probably would have said the same thing. They're all surrounding them, but they're not stopping people from going into the gas station, so obviously, it ain't that damn serious, right? So me, I would have walked in the gas station and probably said the same thing, man. What's going on here, bro? It's 
a lot of them. Just making sure this brother's good. They got this brother hemmed up over here. I don't know if you heard it, but it all makes sense now. Look closely. That's either a scat pack or a Hellcat. Charger Nation, baby. That's why ever since I bought one a couple months ago, my life has been changed forever. I've been pulled over 32 times. Get away scotch-free every time, though? Is it scotch-free or scotch? Now for the last clip of the day, we have Alcatraz. And you know, me and Brittany play a game every single night on Twitch. No, this is not like a shout out for you to go over there and follow me. I don't care if you do or not. We just love the game. We play on this map called Rebirth Island and it's supposed to be a complete replica of Alcatraz. But after playing this game for so long, I had no idea how similar they really are. This is Alcatraz and they're naming these locations that are in the game, but really, as you can see, it's in real life and it's it's identical. Anybody that's played it knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Me and Brittany are running through these locations digitally every single night. It's amazing what people can do uh, with video games these days, you know? That's the prison right there. Me and Brittany like to land on the roof. <laughs> the showers. Prison yard. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another one for the record books. Hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, go check out the links in the description of the video. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, I salute every last one you've been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.